Our second teller is someone that I describe as our very own Woody Guthrie. Mike Zahn comes from Fort Dodge. He is always seen with his guitar, perhaps a hat and a harmonica. And he not only tells stories, but he sings them too. So Mike, please come to the stage. I wore, I wore this suit tonight because uh, when I came down here, I thought I was going to a wedding. <laughs> Just kidding. That's my fiance. <laughs> Sorry, I never forgot the marriage. Wait. Okay. This little story is called Cigar Box 55 Ford and my dad. This jacket belonged to my dad and the tie and the hat. I have an old cigar box. It holds all my treasures, harmonicas, buttons, cards and rocks. Its values can't be measured. I've also got an old set of car keys here. This belonged to my dad. Uh, it was a, his 55 Ford. And it was a wonderful car. It was a huge car. It had four doors. It had a three-speed standard transmission up there on the column, it had an AM radio, and a steering wheel about this big. And it was the same color as a Band-Aid. <laughs> and not very shiny. And we had another car. That was Mom's car. That was the car that she would take to the store. She would take us to church. And if we ever went on a trip, that was the car that we would take on a trip. Now the old 55, my dad loved that car, and it was very special to me too. He took me hunting in it, taught me how to hunt. I can still remember the first time that we did go hunting, and uh, I was about eight or so. And I remember we were about 20 feet away from the car, and a jackrabbit jumped up and shot, by, shot in front of us, by, behind us, and I turned and fired that old 410, boom! came closer to the car than I did the rabbit. <laughs> My dad taught me hunter safety that day. <laughs> and fishing, fishing was really, really the thing that we so much like to do. I come from northwestern Nebraska, up in the hills, and surrounded by ponderosa pine trees. There's cold water streams and ponds, just full of trout, ready to jump out of the pond right into your frying pan. Now, a lot of people didn't believe my dad's fishing techniques, they didn't believe the stories he would tell, but I knew that they were true because I was with him and witnessed them. One of his favorite, favorite spots to fish was the old city dam. Now, not very many people fished there because it was all grown up with trees and brush and things like that. There was an old boat ramp, though. I don't know why, because there was a sign right there that said, no boats allowed. <laughs> So my dad and I would each get two poles, because that was the state regulation, you can have two poles, hook a worm on it, or a grasshopper, and stick it out the window of the car. <laughs> then my dad would take that insulation tape, you know, that peels off, it's sticky on one side, and it's about a quarter of an inch thick. He would set it on the window seal, like this, cross there like that, then when our poles were sitting out the window, he'd roll, we'd roll our windows up as tight as we could, go over to the boat ramp, and then we would back the car down into the pond. It was only about 15 or 20 feet deep. And then it was so awesome because he would turn on the lights and you could see all the fish and all kinds of things under the water. Then after we caught the fish that we needed just for supper, we'd pull out and go home. Then I got a little older, and I was 15 years old, and I was old enough to get my learner's permit. Okay? And that was awesome. Of course, those of you that have driven the clutch, you know how many times you killed the, <laughs> killed the car. I was pretty good at grinding gears. <laughs> My dad, he was very patient. I can remember after about six, seven months of this going on, we'd go out in the hills on the gravel and he'd let me drive. I could tell that things were getting pretty good because he'd always light up an old cigar. 
And he had his arm out the window and we're driving. And he would take a, a cigar and he might light it, take a few puffs. Then it would go out. He'd light it up again, take a few puffs, and he'd usually end up sitting in the extra. Well, 16 years old came along. I got my first driver's license in that old Ford. That was in November. Then the snow began to fall. And me and the old 55 Ford slid right into the back of old Mrs. Johnson's beauty. My first fender bender. Then came springtime, the snow cleared away. I had my first date in the old 55 Ford. And it was such a memorable occasion, I wrote a song about it. This, there we go. Right. Now because it was an old 55 Ford, I borrowed some of the old 50s rhythms. I took my girlfriend to the driving show during the movies it began to snow it was our first date i couldn't give her a whole lady the snow was falling i said to her i gotta get you home the movie's over We'll be here alone. Your daddy's waiting. I should have had you on my now. I turned the key. She wouldn't start. I felt the bottom. I've fallen from my heart. I prayed, oh Lord, please start my fear. The snow was falling, I could hardly see. I took my hammer, I hit the battery. I just remember now, my tank was all on empty. Well, now I'm in trouble. My dad, he's gonna be really happy. And her dad, well, he's gonna be really happy. It was my first date. I reckon that's probably the last date with her. I didn't know what to do. Then appeared a man. He had a gas can. He put it in my hand. Thanks for the gas. I got to get her home fast. We got home late. I felt so bad. There at the door was her dear old dad I had to leave fast he was the man with the gas <laughs> he said to me come on back again I said I'd like to I'll be in again thank you Lord for my 55 four. Well, it wasn't long after that, and the clutch went out of that old 55 Ford, and that was the end of it. My dad picked up a shiny white 62 Ford. And that car didn't last very long at all. And my dad, well, I never got to sing that song to my dad. Uh, I was 26 years old when he passed away, and uh, the older I get, the more I miss my dad. He, uh, he was a good man, he was a lot of fun, and he had a lot of friends. And he wasn't above telling his buddies his favorite fishing hole. In fact, just shortly before he died, I came back home there and he was talking to his buddies and they were talking about fishing. And Dad says, now fellas, he says, you go out there to the city, damn, it's full of trout, just waiting to be caught. And if you're gonna use the boat ramp technique, there's two things you've got to remember. 
Number one, always buy brand new insulation tape. Never, never use old tape because it may not properly stick and it might have a crack in it and it could leak. Number two, when you are backing down that ramp, stay as far to the right as you can or you could run into a shiny white 62-4. It does hold all my special treasures. Harmonicas, cards, buttons and rocks, its value can't be measured. But by far the greatest treasure this box ever had is the memory of its owner. It belonged to my dad. Thank you.